And next up, we have a lightweight feature match. Uh, this is our co-main event feature match of the night. On the left-hand side, we have Tony Curry of Tipping Point Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And on the right-hand side, we have Andrew Bernhack of Foundations BJJ in Madison, Wisconsin. Tony immediately in that closed guard, looking to control the posture here. Climb that guard up high. So he's isolated a wrist already. Might be in on a triangle attempt here. He is. Uh, but Andrew's doing a good job of keeping his posture in this position. And Tony might be in on a Barato Plata. Andrew, once again, doing a good job of keeping his posture, making it hard for Tony to do anything. Or as I say that, he's able to use it to sweep. Get himself into the top position here. Might be looking to step over and take advantage of a triangle or an armbar. Tony abandons the position, passes the guard, and is now on the back of Andrew Bernhock with that super that super hook. Looking to get that second hook, looks like he does. Looking to open Andrew up from the back here. Got that wrist grip with the left hand, looking to drill that right hand underneath the chin to hunt for that choke. He's using that outside foot to try to isolate the right arm of Andrew Bernhock in this position. Might be looking to switch to an arm bar here. And yes, he's looking to step over the head, but Andrew is wise to it, comes up to his knees, but Tony uses that opportunity to retake the back. Had a body triangle there for a moment, but lost it. Now looking to switch. Maybe get the body triangle on the opposite side. Looks like Tony might be under the chin here. Andrew's doing a good job of fighting the hands, but I think Tony's got a palm-to-palm -palm grip here. Might be trying to cinch up that full rear naked choke. It looks like he's slowly working it in there. He's definitely underneath the chin. Andrew's wincing. I think we might see a finish here. He's got that right arm isolated, using his legs to trap the right arm of Andrew Bernhock. He's only got one hand to fight here. Amazing that Andrew's able to gut it out through that position. Looks like he gets out of the rear naked choke and you hear the crowd clap and approval. Great submission defense there from Andrew Bernhock. Looks like he was uh, dead to rights in a rear naked choke and was able to fight his way out of it. Tony might be looking to switch to either a arm bar or maybe a back mount triangle here. Andrew's doing a good job of uh, not allowing one of those arms to be isolated. It's like Andrew might be hunting for a Kimura trap here while uh, uh, while Tony's on his back. I think he might have it too. Yes, it looks like he has uh, encircled the elbow. He's got a Kimura trap grip here, but uh, Tony's still on his back. I think Andrew's lost the grip there. Yes, he has. Uh, now hunting for it on the opposite side, but Tony's going to be wise to that. Keep his elbows tight. You hear the crowd clap again. As Tony's able to escape that Kimura trap position and continue hunting for the back here. And we're here at the edge of the mat. We're going to see a reset here in just a moment, I think. Referee Cliff Harris doing a good job of keeping the competitors safe tonight. Looks like Andrew has single leg X here, but his hips aren't high enough here. I don't think he's going to be able to sweep Tony in this position. Tony dives on a toehold here. 
on the free foot of Andrew. <coughs> Andrew's got his legs straight there, though, so it's going to be really hard for Tony to finish that toe hold until he can get a bend in the knee. We see Tony sit up, might be looking for another leg entanglement on the opposite leg. As many of you probably remember from our last show, Tony was able to finish that De La Hiva footlock that Kyle Terra is famous for. Uh, Craig Jones hit recently against uh, Boogeyman Martinez. Uh, Tony was able to get a beautiful finish at our last show uh, with that De La Hiva footlock. So look out for that in this match as well. And again, he's got that wrist pin looking to hunt for the triangle here, but Andrew's able to fight his, uh, his free arm back inside. Keep both arms inside that triangle. And now he's got a knee up. And now looking to enter in on the legs here, but Tony uses his free foot to pummel inside. It's going to be really hard for Andrew to gain control of the hips here. Great shot we're getting here from Mouse Images tonight. Zooming in on the action, giving us a great view of all the the matches, submissions, and competitors tonight. Tony, Car T Tony Curry knee slices through the, the guard of Andrew Bernhock. He's now in side control. A strong cross face. Looking to turn that chin away to get Andrew to roll away from him and take his back. Andrew looking to turn in and get those knees back into play. Tony goes to that knee mount position, and as Andrew turtles, looks like Tony's in on the back. Looking at a leg drag position here. He's able to slice past that. And now Tony enters in on the leg. Looking for that inside heel hook. Andrew's able to triangle his legs, get that outside foot to protect his own or that outside knee over his own foot to protect it. Tony looking to isolate that leg and expose the heel. It's like he may have in this position. He's going to, looking to go belly down. Andrew's going to try to run out, uh, and he loses the heel. He's in on like a shallow knee bar right now. Andrew's got his free foot pummel, pummeled inside. So Tony's not able to get control of the hips. And now we see a, uh, a reset to a neutral position. Presumably neutral. And there's the bell. Eight minutes is up, and we'll see this match go to overtime. I believe Tony Curry was the presser of the action, so he's going to have the first choice. We'll see. It looks like he decides to take the back here Tony in the Curry first half of our overtime period. overtime period. Referee Cliff Harris explaining the overtime rules to our competitors. He immediately looks to get his shoulders flat to the mat on that side. Going to get that inside shoulder of the mat and turn up into Tony, either force him to mount him or come up into the close guard. Either is an escape here in the EBI overtime rule set. It's like Tony has that body triangle now. Andrew looking to fight the lock. Tony looking to dig that forearm underneath the chin. It might just be on a neck crank now. Palm to palm, and uh, Andrew's able to free his head. Tony back in on that neck crank finish. He's palm to palm, but not able to get a finish there. Again, with that body triangle as Andrew... Uh, Andrew Turtles.
Really impressed with the, the defense of Andrew Bernhock from his back uh, tonight. Able to fight out of a very deep rear naked choke during regulation and now in overtime, even though we haven't seen him escape thus far, he's been able to defend all of the submission attempts of Tony Curry. Andrew looking to sit up and grab the, the foot, put that elbow on the inside of the shin to create a little bit of pressure there. With that shin lock, but uh, in the process, he's able to free himself and get out. Are we in overtime? Oh, okay. Now move to the second half of our overtime period where Andrew will be able to choose either the back position or the spider web. We'll see what he elects to do. It looks like he's going to go right for the arm. He's going to go for the kill. I like that strategy. Oftentimes, you'll see competitors in the first round of overtime elect to take the back, uh, accumulate some of that ride time that may come into play later. But Andrew says, screw that, goes right for the arm. When he's able to get up to his knees, he stepped over the head here. Andrew's still got pretty good control of the arm here as Tony's up to his knees. Andrew's going to have to uh, break the posture down a little bit more if he wants to get the finish here. And uh, Tony's able to free his elbow, and he's out very quickly. So headed into the second round of overtime. Tony is up thus far on escape time. Now we'll see if he likes to take the back or the armbar. Looks like he's going to be on the back for our second overtime period here. Tony immediately looks to go to that body triangle, but Andrew's able to get his hips to the side, not allowing that to happen. He's got that super hook now, looking to fight that second hook in. He digs the heel in. Andrew's doing a good job of using that free arm to fight it. Looks like Tony might be able to transition to an arm bar here. He's just got to step that right leg over the head. Right as I say that, he does. Now looking to separate the wrists of Andrew Bernhock, break those grips. As Andrew turtles, uh, Tony might look to go belly down here. Uh, but it looks like Andrew's going to be able to ratchet his elbow out of this position, and he's out. That was good. And we will head to the second half of our second overtime period here. It'll be interesting to see if Andrew elects to take the back of the armbar. It looks like he's going to take the back this time around. It's like he knows he's probably down on uh, on ride time at this moment. He's going to look to take the back here and try to hold on for the full two minutes to get himself the win. And immediately, Tony is able to get his shoulders flat to the mat, and he's out. I don't think there's any question that uh, Tony Curry is our winner on fastest escape. Your Andrew winner with the show fastest respect. escape in overtime, Tony Curry! And your winner by fastest escape in overtime, Tony Curry.